Before using the NX, install an appropriate compatible Ferno fastening system, the ICS integrated charge system for the NX, and safety hook. You'll also need to attach any accessories you ordered with your NX. Specific directions are provided in the NX and or accessory manual. With the power on, check the NX battery level by looking at the charger status icon on the lower right corner of the display. The battery icon represents the charge remaining in the battery. A lightning bolt indicates charging is in progress. Green means the battery is fully charged. Yellow means a moderate charge remains. And red indicates a low charge remains. When a low charge is present, one third of the indicator will be steady red. If the icon is flashing between an empty battery outline and a full red battery, the charge is depleted. Exchange for a charged battery as soon as possible or connect the battery to a power source such as the ICS or NX battery charger. To charge the battery through a household electric outlet, make sure the NX power switch is in the off position. Remove the battery from the NX by lifting the shock frame and removing the battery cover. Grasp the battery cable plug and disconnect the cable from the battery port. Use the battery carry handle to lift the battery up and away from the cradle and connect the battery adapter cable and battery charger to the NX battery. Then, connect the battery charger to an electric outlet. To connect the battery to the NX, verify the power switch is in the off position and raise the shock frame. Angle and slide the battery into the cradle. Press down to secure the battery in place in the cradle. Connect the battery cable plug to the battery port. Replace the battery cover and lower the shock frame. When the NX is secured in an integrated charging system fastener, or ICS for short, with supplied power, it will disable powered operation of the NX and provide ongoing battery charging. First, make sure the ICS has power through the ambulance ignition system, inverter, shoreline, or outlet switch. Then, simply secure the NX in the fastening system and the battery will begin charging. Follow the installation instructions for the ICS in the ICS for NX Installation and Users Manual. Users can program the NX so it stops automatically at the proper loading height for the assigned ambulance. To set or change the loading height, raise or lower the NX until the loading wheels roll directly onto the ambulance floor. Make sure the wheels are resting on the floor the safety bar is caught by the safety hook and that the loading end legs have not lifted off the ground. Press the Mode Select button four times to enter the Load Height Set mode. Press and hold the Plus Extend button before the timer expires. Continue to hold the button while the five second timer expires. Turn the power switch off, wait a second, and then turn the power back on to commit the new setting to the system's memory. Test loading and unloading to verify the NX stops at the new loading height. The patient restraints are positioned both above and below the pad. The pelvis strap and harness attach to the NX with a bracket and post system. To attach the straps, orient the bracket on the restraint strap with the bend facing the center of the NX and the tab up. Finish by inserting the retaining plug into the bracket. The leg restraints attach by guiding the buckle or tang through the restraint loop after it's been fed through the bracket on the NX.